Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. Well, in today's video we're going to have a look at how to fake depth of field using DaVinci Resolve 17. And you can do this effect either if you have the studio version or if you have the free version. So I'll show you two methods of doing that effect. So if you are new to this channel and want to learn DaVinci Resolve filmmaking tips and tricks and things of that matter and have a look at some pretty cool gear, I would recommend you to subscribe for the channel. Okay, let's get right to the video. Okay, so let's get going with this video, how to fake depth of field. And uh, I'll show you one for the studio version first, which is, if you do not have the studio version, this will not work. But for the studio version owners, let's just jump into the color tab and let's jump into the magic mask and let's just quickly select the mask here and make sure we are in the qualifier and then let's just draw a shape here and then push play and then we are going to track our little mask here again the the magic mask is a fantastic feature and it might be worth the money to upgrade to the studio version alone. This is a lovely feature. I can't recommend it enough. So here we are with that out of the way. And I'm going to select my mask here and then I'm going to invert the mask. So we are only going to work with the background. I'm just going to toggle off here and I'm also going to toggle off the mask. And then I'll just go into the, the blur icon and I'm just going to blur the background like so. And of course we can refine the mask if it's not uh, good enough. We can do that again in the in, in the mask and then we can just change the radius and play around with that until we have a result we are happy with. Okay so that was for the studio version so let's just uh, reset our grade here and the way you could do this kind of effect of course if you do not have the studio version would be to use masks. So I'm just going to draw some mask. It's not going to be as good as the magic mask, or it can be, but we are not going to use a lot of time actually on making a mask. So we are just going to do a shaped mask here, like so. And we are going to go into the track and we're just going to track the mask. And there was a little here, so we are just going to do some re-changes and do a retrack here. Okay, we'll go into the mask. We are going to add in another curse mask. And we are just going to draw a shape like so. Pretty fast. And then we're going to go into the shapes. We're going to do a tracker and we are going to track this mask as well. So little corrections let's do a retract fast okay something like that and now i'm just going to do a um, shift s and that just means that i'm doing a note before this so i'll go into this note here and then i'll again go into the to the blur and we can then blur the background and again, this is not as good as the other one, of course, but uh, it will make the job. And of course, we could also um, use the softness and the masks here, like so. We'll do the same. So something like that. Let's go here. Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet a, another video here at the channel. Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet a, another video here at the channel. Okay, that was two methods on how to fake depth of field using DaVinci Resolve 17. The one version using the magic mask available in the studio version. And if you do not have the studio version, you can do the other method. And I have done that a lot of time before the magic mask came into DaVinci Resolve 17. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.